Still on differentiation of functions, in this video, we'll talk about the product rule. How to differentiate a product using the product rule. Let us state the rule. If y, which is a function of x, is equal to the product of two functions, u, a function of x, and v, which is also a function of x, dy dx is equal to u times dv dx plus v times du dx. We call this the product rule. All right? We will now apply the product rule to find the derivative of the function y equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 times 4 minus 5x squared. Now, we can choose u to be any one. We can also choose v to be any of them. So let's say our u be 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. So what will be du dx? du dx is equal to, let's differentiate this function. Differentiate 3x squared to get 6x. Remember, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. Differentiate minus 2x to get minus 2. Differentiate 1 to get 0. If you've not watched the video on differentiation, the first video, you can go and watch it so that you understand the details how to get the derivative of a function. So v will now be equal to 4 minus 5x squared. So what's the v dx? Differentiate 4 to get 0. 4 is a constant. Differentiate minus 5x squared to get minus 10x. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. 2 minus 1 is 1. So what's this now equal to? We have minus 10x. So this is dv dx and this is du dx. The product rule formula says dy dx is equal to u dv dx plus v du dx. u is equal to this, 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 times dv dx is minus 10x plus v is 4 minus 5x squared. times du dx, which is 6x minus 2. And so we can just say minus 10x multiplying 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 4 minus 5x squared multiplying 6x minus 2. This is dy dx. Let's apply the rule again to get the derivative of 2x cubed cos 3x, right? So, we can choose our u to be any of them. We have 2x cubed and cos 3x. So, let's choose u to be 2x cubed. And what will be du dx? That will be 6x squared. Two, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 minus 1 is 2. So v will be equal to cos 3x. Then dv dx will be equal to what? Remember, differentiate cos s to get minus sin x. If you differentiate cos 3x, you will get minus 3 sin 3x. We actually use the chain rule to explain the derivative of cos kx, all right? So you can go and watch the video on chain rule. You understand better. Now, what is our dy dx? dy dx is equal to u dv dx plus v times du dx, all right? 
What is our u? u says 2s cubed. 2s cubed times dv dx, which is minus 3 sine 3x. Minus 3 sine 3x. Then plus v, which is cos 3x, times du dx, which is 6x squared. Okay, so we have, let's expand. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So we have minus 6s cubed sine 3x. Then here it is equal to 6x squared cos 3x. So from this expression, 6x squared is common. Bring 6s squared out. What will be left here is just minus x sine 3x. So that 6x squared times minus x, that will be minus 6x cubed that we have here. Okay? And then 6x squared times minus x sine 3x is minus 6x cubed sine 3x. Then 6x squared divided by 6x squared is 1. So what's just left is cos 3x. So that 6x squared times cos 3x is 6x squared cos 3x. And this is the what? Dy dx. Remember to subscribe, like and share to your friends and your classmates. I'll see you in the next one.